In the scorching sands of Egypt, monuments rise that defy logic. Not because of their size, we understand sheer manpower, but because of their precision. The ancient Egyptians, a civilization we place firmly in the Bronze Age, left behind artifacts and structures so meticulously crafted that they should have been impossible to create with the tools they supposedly possessed. We're talking about precision engineering achieved millennia before the invention of the steam engine, the lathe, or high carbon steel. This isn't just history, it's an unsolved technical mystery. Consider Aswan. Here lie the quarries for much of the red granite used in temples and obelisks. Granite is one of the hardest stones on Earth, rated 6 to 7 on the Mohs scale. To cut it today, we use diamond-tipped saws and high-powered lasers. The Egyptians had copper dolomite balls, and brute force. Yet, the surfaces we find are not rough or hammered. They are flat, polished to an astronomical standard. Take the unfinished obelisk. This 1,200-ton monolith was abandoned, but the trenches carved around it show an almost machine-like consistency. How did they exert enough focused force using soft copper tools to carve a rock that dulls modern drill bits? The mainstream explanation is simple. Endless time, endless workers, and endless rubbing with quartz sand. But simple rubbing doesn't create a perfectly flat surface across 20-foot spans. That requires a perfectly flat, rigid tool and a level of control that ancient workers should not have had. Now, let's look deeper. In the Serapium at Saqqara, there are 20 granite and diorite boxes. They are enormous, hundreds of tons each. They were supposedly sarcophagi for the sacred Apis bulls. But what's inside? Nothing. The true marvel is their construction. These boxes are composed of two parts, the box itself and the lid. When put together, the seal is so tight that it's nearly airtight. Measurements show the interior and exterior surfaces are machined to tolerances that rival modern industrial standards. We are talking about variations of less than a thousandth of an inch. This is a feat of modern milling technology. The question is, and always has been, how? Did they somehow, through forgotten ancient methods, achieve a level of precision we can only match with the aid of computers and advanced metallurgy? The skepticism only deepens when examining drill core samples. These are circular holes drilled into hard stone, like granite or diorite often with spiral grooves still visible on the interior walls. In the 1970s, engineer Christopher Dunn, a key proponent of the advanced machining theory, analyzed these cores. He found two startling facts. First, the rate of feed how fast the drill was sinking into the rock was 500 times greater than what modern diamond-tipped bits achieve when drilling granite. Second, the grooves indicated the tool wasn't simply scraping. It was cutting a solid ring with a wall thickness that suggested a sophisticated, high-pressure, high-speed rotary mechanism. These are the clear signs of core drilling technology, not 
hand-cranked bows and copper pipes. It implies that the Egyptians had tools capable of focusing immense energy, potentially utilizing ultrasonic vibration or a compound abrasive we have yet to rediscover. The evidence literally suggests that ancient lathes and drills were at work, transforming the world's hardest materials into works of art. So, what is the ultimate truth behind this technical impossibility? The mainstream view maintains that time is the answer that centuries of trial and error, coupled with incredibly skilled craftsmen and millions of man-hours, led to these results. They argue that extraordinary human effort, not lost technology, is the marvel of Egypt. But the alternative view asks, why don't we see the gradual progression? Why do the most technologically advanced tools seem to appear out of nowhere and then disappear? This theory suggests a lost technology, either inherited from a much older lost civilization or perhaps even gifted by others. To many, the precision of the Saqqara boxes is the closest thing we have to irrefutable evidence of a technological inheritance, a legacy of an intelligence beyond the Bronze Age. If the pharaohs had only copper tools, then where did the blueprints for this impossible precision truly come from? Whether you believe in secret lost science or simply the incredible tireless genius of the ancient Egyptian people, one thing is certain. Their work forces us to question the timeline of human technological development. The impossible precision, the mysterious drill marks, the ability to shape the world's hardest stones, it's all there, waiting for a definitive explanation. What do you believe? Was it pure human ingenuity, or did the pharaohs build on a secret technological foundation left by a prehistoric, advanced civilization? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the world's greatest unsolved mysteries.